Welcome to the High Five Podcast, Five Minutes of Daily Prayer from Life Tree Community Church. I'm Pastor Carrie. This podcast is a way for our church to pray together, even when we can't be together, because we believe in the power of prayer. So many of us are wondering what can we do in this interesting time that we're living in, and how can we be of help to those that need it so badly? Well, the answer to that is that we can pray. So each week, this podcast will cover a specific area for us to pray about. Here's how it will work. A prayer topic will be introduced with a Bible verse that relates to that topic, and five points to pray about concerning that topic. I'll pray first for each topic, and then music will play for about a minute for you to pray your own prayer in your own way. Let's get started. This week's topic is stopping the spread of COVID-19. Our scripture verse is 1 John 5.14, which says, And this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us, and we know that he hears us in whatever we ask. And the first point that we're going to pray is simply asking God to slow and stop the spread of this sickness. So let's pray. Father God, we come with a simple prayer request today. We're asking you to slow this virus and to stop it to eradicate it, to cause it to go in Jesus' name so that no more people will be sick and so that no more will die and that the worry of this disease will not continue to be on our hearts every single day. We know you're a healer and we believe you to stop this virus in Jesus' name. Now you pray. Point number two is asking God to heal those who are in recovery. Let's pray. Father God, we ask that you would cause healing to come to the bodies of those who are currently being treated for this virus. We ask you to send your healing word to them, to deliver them from this sickness. We ask for quick recoveries, even miraculous recoveries, in Jesus' name. And now you pray. Point number three is let's pray for the doctors and healthcare workers. Father God, we thank you that there are so many brave men and women who are really giving their whole lives to help in the healing process for those who are sick with this virus. We ask you, Lord, to strengthen them, to cause their immune systems to be strong, to give them courage and and power, to help them sleep, Lord, to just be with them, that they would somehow have a sense that you're right there with them, giving them strength as they love on and treat those who are sick with this disease. Now you pray.
Number four is let's pray for our government officials and those that are in power making decisions. Lord, we thank you for those that are in the government right now that are the decision makers. We pray for them by name. We pray for Mayor Dave Freed and pray for the mayors of our neighboring towns. We pray for Governor Phil Murphy and President Donald Trump. We ask you, God, to give them wisdom. We ask you to whisper into their ear ways that they can make things better, to give them brilliant ideas, to give them masterful plans of how to help our country and help the people who are suffering. We thank you for them, God, and we ask you to bless them in Jesus' name. And now you pray for them. And number five, let's pray for our economy, for those who've lost their jobs and need jobs, and for business owners. Father God, we thank you that you are Jehovah Jireh. You're our provider. And we ask you, Lord, to provide for those who need jobs. We ask you, Lord, for business owners to have fresh ideas about how to keep their business going. We ask you to encourage them and empower them and give them strength to make through this difficult time. Give them great ways, Lord, to help their businesses improve. We just pray for our economy, that you would do miraculous things. We thank you for it. And now you pray. Lord, we thank you that we can come to you with any needs that we have and know that you hear us and that if it matters to us, it matters to you. So we thank you, Lord, that we can lay these burdens at your feet today and walk away knowing that the God of the whole universe has heard our prayers and is working on our behalf. We pray all these things in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining us today for this, our very first High Five podcast, Five Minutes of Daily Prayer. Our hope is that maybe you'll turn this podcast on a few times this week and just pray over these points to know that we're all praying together towards the same goal and that we can't do everything. We can't all be doctors. We can't all be the governor. We can't all be the mayor, but we can pray and we believe that there's power in prayer. Be blessed. Have a great day.